well, well, we're back, everyone, playing a brand new series in a mod-related world, which I have not done before. And we're going to be playing in the Create Skyblock mod pack in 1.16.5. Very, very interesting. So now, let us get started off. Let's, let's do a few things while we're talking. So here is the advancements menu. And let's do a first, like, let's do a few things. Let's grab some pebbles. I just shifted and I clicked on the dirt to get those. And here's some cobblestone. Here we go to get some advancements. And let's see here. So we need to get sand, right? That's the thing we just throw cobble into here. I guess some grout. Nice. So let me explain a few things about this mod pack. So this mod pack has a mod called the Create mod. And this mod adds new functions to the normal vanilla machines that we have. So let me show you it here. So let's so here if I can spell. Uh, now we need to do, here we go. So this is all of the different things that they have for the create mod. And this is the main mod pack we're going to be playing, but this mod pack also includes many other items from other mods and of course from the vanilla game. And it's also a, a very new, this is a very new mod pack that has that just came out just a few days ago. So let's see, we got some loot bags here. So we get some stuff, block of brass, block of copper. Got, oh, a club, cool. And I put it on me. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. <laughs> the heck? Oh man, oh man. Let's see, what, what does this last one have? Metamorphic mountain cobblestone wall. Some interesting materials. So I did play a little bit beforehand just to grasp everything here. So it looks like we have some basic materials to start off with. Okay. Some sapling, some bone meal, another loot bag, and crushed lead. Floating red flower, nice. That sounds cool. Let's organize everything. Okay, so now let's look at the advancements and see what we have to do here. So we have to make a lot more gravel. So let's make a whole lot of these stone pebbles. Let's do that. There we go, some pebbles. And this, and how they change, like, from cobblestone to gravel to sand is that you just throw it into water, which I find really interesting. Okay, now we have the gravel. Now let's change this to some flint. So let's just put that down on the ground here. And this also has the vein miner. So if I press the like this squiggly button that's right next to the one, then if I hold that down and I uh, mine, then that mines a whole lot of blocks for me. Of course, I don't want to just hold it down right here, because then I'd mine out all the ground beneath me, which would be great. Now, let's make another cobble block. Okay. Okay, got some more pebbles. Then we just put this down and smack the flint on it just by right clicking. Then we make some flint shards and some oak saplings. Now we need to make a knife. So like this, like a flint knife. And then we cut some of these plant fibers. So we just need to do that twice. And turn this into plant string. There you go. Then you get a stick and you get some flint and that makes the flint axe. So it says, and this makes it so I can cut down trees. 
So let's do that. Okay, looks like we have plenty of resources. Let's pick this all up here. Oh man, yes. Now let's open the loot bags. Looks like we're getting a lot of materials, so let us try to make some chests. So we need a crafting table. And let's put this wood in here. There we go, get some more wood. Getting a lots of interesting items. Uh, let's put this right here. Put all of these in here. So there's a nifty little thing to know when you're playing a mod pack, which this to me seems to be in every mod pack, is that if you hold down shift and you hold down left click you can just spam items into there just by hovering over them like spam them into the chest so i find that to be very very convenient very very helpful if you didn't know about that and now let's open the loot bags let's see ooh golden apples some pork chops rod of the skies what does this do uh no i just made a pebble I'm not sure what that does Let's go loot bag. Looks like we got a brass tunnel, a white shulker box, a boat, a minecart with a hopper, and some shulker boxes, which is something I'll actually keep on me because those are like ender chests, but not as um, inconvenient. Okay. Looks like I got another chest over there. Let's take a look at the advancements, see what we have. So let's make some sand. So let's get our gravel and make some sand. Let's go. Let's not use all of it because we might need more flint. Um, doesn't look like that works. So let's see. A way to get sand. Drop a dirt block. Oh, it's a dirt block. Okay. So we need to get a dirt block. Let's see, where do I want to get it from? I don't want to ruin the aesthetic, so let's just get it right here. And throw that into the water. There you go, some sand. Nice. Open the loot bag. TNT. Now it looks like some more gravel. Okay. Let's throw the TNT into there. And a disc. I didn't notice that. Okay, so let us... Just go through a few things here. Coarse dirt. Now how do we make coarse dirt? Let's see. Gravel and just dirt. Okay. Doesn't look like there's many other different ways of making it. So let us get some dirt. See how can we make dirt? Because I don't want to use the dirt here. Because we have a very limited supply of what we have. It's for playing Skyblock. So let's see. We can get dirt from a survivalist strainer. So let us see how do we make a survivalist strainer? Hmm. Fishing ores. Without iron, it's hard to craft. The strainer base, but a little change of the recipe helps you. So let's see. So we need a base of some kind. So let's look that up. Base. Ooh, looks like it's all made out of wood components, which is just great. So let's do that. So what I did there was I pressed the A button on the item that I wanted to craft, and that puts it into my memory saves. And what these are is that I can just click on this and it gives me the recipe as well. But if I like search something on here, like it's not there anymore, but I can still click on this and find the recipe, which is very nice for progression. So because it'd be kind of annoying, kind of annoying to try to do that while it was like 
Like I had to search it up every time. So yeah, let's organize this. Get me some wood. Lots of wood. Nice. Now let's go over here and make our strainer base. Looks like we need a couple components though. We can make these. Um, and we need a lot of these, so let's need six and then five more. Oh, we need an extra, that's okay. And we put those into there. Oh, it makes 16. Okay, cool. Wood plate. Then we need to make that hopper, but we need to make. Let's see, we we have a chest right here, so I'll just use that. But we also I think that's it, right? Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Hopper. And we need another chest. Let's make that. There we go. We have the strainer base. Now what this does is you put it in the water and it can like collect materials if there's a net on it. So currently there is no net, so we need to make that. We have a crafting pattern, and we're getting all kinds of items. Very, very, very interesting. Now let's move all of these. And we need to make the net, right. So let us make the net. Catch the ore. The second item you need is to get some ore chunks. So let us get. Let's try to find what mod is this from? Water strainer. So let's just look up the mods. And how you do that is you press the ask button by shift clicking two. And then you just look up the mod that you want to use it. From, and then here we go. This is all of the items from the water strainer mod, which is very convenient. Now I can find the water strainer that, that I was I was that I was trying that I was trying to find. Now let's look here. So we need string. So how am I going to get string? So let's see. Looks like by smelting plant string. You can get, um, I lost it there. Looks like by smelting plant string, you can get normal string. So let us make a furnace, which is really simple, just a cobble. So let us collect more pebbles. Pebbles, 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 pebbles. There we go. Of all these pebbles. Nice, nice pebbles. Turn into cobblestone. Now let us make a furnace. Doopity bop. Furnace! Yay! Put that next to the crafting table. There we go. Now let's get some wood. Get some wood. There we go. Put the wood in there. And then we need to make some more plant string, right? So we need to get more saplings. We have lots of those. And we need to make how many again? We need to make four of them. So let us do that many. And makes two. And we need to do this I think one more time. There we go. That makes one, whoops, one more time. There we go. We have our plant fiber. Now let us put it into here and get it cooking. Now we just gotta wait till that's done. Oh, let me show you a neat trick before that's done. So if you put down a sapling, you can bone meal it, but that's fine and everything. But there's a little extra feature that comes with this skyblock pack that if you just keep pressing shift it will actually bone meal it without using any bone meal so and there you go
tree that grows super fast. Nice. And let's see if that is done yet. It's almost done. Let's just chop down this tree. Do 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 do. Okay. Yes, we have the four string. Very, very nice. Now let us make this into something. A string mesh. Oh, yes. Now let's get the some sticks. Let's get some sticks and let us make a survivalist strainer. There we go, all the different uses for it. Oh, they got a couple extra. Nice. Nice. Now let's just put that on there. That should work, but it looks like we need some extra things. Water missing. Hmm. Looks like I didn't make this correctly. Let's collect this, and... Seems like we need to have water flowing through, so let's just... Dig a hole here. Oh, we got so many strainer bases. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we gotta use all of these, right? No problems detected. Baits. Looks like it's working. Okay, so since we got so many of the strainers, let's make spots for all of them. And let's put them all down. Strainer base. Strainer base. Strainer base. And let's put down our survivalist strainer. Survivalist strainer. Cool, cool. And this looks like it's getting some resources. Bait redundant. Bait is redundant. Okay. Now from what I remember from these is that... When you pick up the items from here, you can't put them back inside, so you have to be careful with that. So let's try to make some more storage, because I feel like that's what we're going to need. So let's make some more storage, yay! Yeah, let's make some more storage. There we go, lots of chests. And we can get plenty of wood, so it's all good. Wood is not a problem. Oh uh, yeah, it makes it separate. I forgot! Let's not make it separate. Try doing that. Okay, yeah, let's just put this one next to here. There we go, tons of storage, nice. So let's just put some stuff in here. Put the saplings floating, fallen. Kanadi. Floating Kanadi. Very interesting. Oh, a block of terrace still. I didn't even notice that. Nice. Now, I have no clue what this cloak of virtue does, but it does sound interesting. We were given some bread! So we can eat that. Very, very nice. Now, let us we'll look inside of these and see what we have. See? Now we're getting a replenishable source of dirt, which is very, very nice. Because that's going to come in handy. And the site, loose rock. Bait, iron nuggets, stick, lots of worms, and some dirt, which I'll put into there. Now let's look at our advancements and see where we need to go next. Hmm. There's a lot of information. Let's make a better workbench. So you just get this workbench and then you put it into here and then bang! Crafting station. What this does is that say you're crafting something and they don't know, you don't have all the parts, so it stays all there. So you can get the parts and come back, which is really nice. So it looks like... Oh yeah, and it also connects to the inventory that's next to it. So if I were put this, say, next to this chest, which has all my stuff in it, 
it can access all of those items and still be able to craft, which is very, very convenient. So that's another nifty thing about the crafting station. But I'm not going to put it over there since we're going to be putting stuff in all of these chests. Which is not going to be very efficient. Looks like we have a helmet. What is a helmet? Look at that. <laughs> I'll wear it for the time being. Liquid eye patch. Is that like another... Huh, it's like a eye thing. Interesting. Let's put that away. Put these logs into here. And looks like we have a chip anvil as well. So let's put that in here. Now, what do we need to do? So we need to get some clay, right? So we need to drop coarse dirt into water, which takes dirt. And we're getting dirt, so that's nice. Dirt. And... Looks like we're getting string too. Looks like there's some dirt in there. So we get some dirt and we get some gravel, which I should have in here. And you combine those two things and you get coarse dirt. Nice, 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 nice. Then we throw this coarse dirt into water and then bang, we have clay. Nice. Another loot box. Platinum ore. Let's just quickly put that into here. And let me look into the advancements again. Let's see. Transport water. To transport water, you need a bucket, but first you need the clay tool. So let's make clay tool. Clay tool, awesome. Looks like it's just a ton of sticks. Very good. Let's use all these sticks then. Like that, but we need the crafting station. See if I remember. Oh man. Yeah, clay tool. Nice. Now let's look. Uh, so it gave us some more clay, I believe. I think we had eight before, so that's good. So let's open this. We have tiny potato mask. Huh. What can this be used for? Looks like it goes into... Huh. <laughs> I have a tiny potato mess. That's... That's something, isn't it? Okay, looks like we have... Zombie horse spawn egg. It's just... It just seems like we're getting a lot of random things, aren't we? Very interesting. Now, let's see... It's a bucket. Bucket can... Create by using the clay tool on a block of clay. Craft a bucket form on firing it. Nothing to say. Clay buckets in a furnace. Boom. We got a ceramic bucket. Let's just say boom again because that's cool. Boom! Create a bucket. Now let us make this into the bucket. So, uh, it doesn't look like I can collect that. Oh, too many times, too many times. Let's see. That looks to be right. But how do I pick it up is the question. Looks like I might need a shovel. Flint shovel! Flint shards. Hmm. This is curious. Using the clay tool on the bucket. Uh, block form. Okay, so let's figure this out here. Let's just make a flint shovel, because I think that's what I need to make. So for that, we're going to need some more, um, cobble. So let's make that. There we go, some more cobblestone. Nice. Now let's make this gravel. There we go. Then we just gotta place down all of this gravel. And mine it. There we go. Looks like we just got all 13 back. 
Let's play it down again, mine again. Looks like we got some flint that time. Nice. So let's get our combo block. Make some of these, then get some more plant fiber and get the whole process now. So I'll just do it. There we go. Shovel, nice. Let's see if this works. Perfect, it works. Aha! Problem solving. The Sojourner's Shaft. Sash. So it's a. Uh, it's a sash. Let's just say it's a sash. Sash it is. Yeah, look at that. It goes around. It actually doesn't look too bad. I'll keep it. <laughs> now, let's put this in a furnace. Cook it up. Nice and tasty, which I don't know how many of you would think a clay bucket is tasty, but I gotta cover all my bases, right? And we have soul campfire and bronze dust. Actually, this I can just place down because we need some light. There we go. Soul campfire. Whoa. Now, let's see, we need, visit the eight biome islands, okay, so it looks like we have a lot more things that we need to do, fossil chess, botania, cool, cool, so I think that this is a excellent time to end our first episode. Okay, so I thank you so much for watching, and if you made it to this point in the video, then I very much appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.